Hey girls, I am back to do another TTC update and thyroid update. I'm going to break this video down into two parts so and start with the thyroid update and the pathology from that from my surgery that was two weeks ago. Basically, I went and seen my endocrinologist this, this past weekend and then I went and seen my surgeon before that and based on his results and what the report had said, I, they had found absolutely no cancer, so that was such a great relief. I was so happy to hear that. They did say that the mass that they found was some kind of weird tissue. I don't remember exactly what the name of it is, but it's some tissue that you have when you were when you're little, and it's supposed to, I guess, absorb in your body. And for some reason, mine didn't. So um, he said that everything looked good. It was just a very um, multi-nodular and very enlarged stuff. I am still on the levothyroxine, which is the synthetic thyroid hormone, and I still haven't noticed any difference. Um, I'm just kind of lethargic, and I have a lot of brain fog, which is really weird. Um, I kind of, I'm very forgetful at times, and um, I think that's kind of why I've been MIA recently. I just have been so, so busy and not able to get my thoughts together, so um, I did talk to my endocrinologist about switching, but she wants me to finish out this prescription and then I'm going to go back and get my blood drawn in six weeks and if she feels that my levels aren't where they're supposed to be then we would talk about um, a different medication or upping the medication that I'm on. I'm not really sure if I want to continue on the synthetic thyroid, thyroid pill because I have heard that um, it doesn't it doesn't really do anything obviously because it is a synthetic drug and it's not as good as the real thing but I have heard about a more natural medication that is actually made from pig's thyroid. Those drugs, instead of containing one hormone like the one I'm on, it contains all five of the hormones that your um, natural thyroid would make. So I'm definitely going to be talking to her and bringing in all the information that I have found and that I have read. But yeah, I just, I feel good that it wasn't cancer. I'm very, very very thankful and grateful that it was not cancerous. Um, I don't regret my decision on having my thyroid removed. I definitely feel that I can breathe better and sleep better, which I was not able to before. If any of you have any suggestions or tips or anything or questions about this, um, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go into part two and I'll see you there. Bye!